Welcome to the kitchen table, where the chankiest Magic the Gathering decks battle it out for glory, but most of all for your viewing pleasure. And to make it even extra fun, we have a little leaderboard, where the winner will win a Modern Horizons 2 Collector Booster thanks to our partner Card Market. To participate in this leaderboard there's only one thing you need to do and that is predict the winner of the next match and leave it in the comments below. We will announce the next match at the very end of this video so stay with us until the end. But now sit back and relax and let's ask Bram which two decks will enter the arena this time. Today, five bouncing otters are trying to bounce away the Urzatron deck. And let's now look at the decks. The Mono Blue Bounce deck has one purpose only, and that's bounce everything your opponent has, including lands, and then slowly take over with some otters like the Thieving Otter and Lutri. The deck also plays some other creatures like the Jace's Archivist to draw yourself a new hand. The iconic Urza Tron deck is built around the three Urza lands to generate a ton of mana. Of course we need some mana fixing like Expedition Map and Ancient Stirrings. And when we have plenty of mana out there we can play big Eldrazi, giant Colossuses and we can even summon a bunch of slime to throw in our opponent's face. Fight! Welcome to the gauntlet, welcome to the Urza deck where we need a lot of Urza lands like the power plant and the tower. They are already in the hand of the Urza player, also a big colossus. And now let's look at the bouncing otters. There is boomerang, very important card for the early bounce, eye of nowhere also important and some lands. We also see a capsize. So three lands and a lot of bounce. Now the otters, they are going to start with a lonely sandbar. And then back to the land of the Urza, Tron player. It's a Junt Tron deck, meaning it has a black, it has green and it also has a red. We start with a power plant and an expedition map. And this one is here to search for the third piece of the Tron puzzle, the mine. But here is Eye of Nowhere bouncing the land that now is being played again. Chromatic Sphere for some color fixing. Three mana has been tapped. Bounce with cap size. And again, cracking the sphere, drawing an Oblivion Stone, playing Ancient Stirrings. Searching for more Urza pieces. Here is Urza's mine. So in the hand of the Tron player all pieces are there. But now we head back to the land of the Bouncing Otter. And there's still a lot of bounce spells. Let's see. Eye of Nowhere on the power plant. And two mana open that means Boomerang can be played in the end step. Boomerang has been played, land has been bounced, that means the Tron player now has to discard a card. And another bounce spell for the bouncing otters. They pass the turn, another power plant, another land and 6 land is really important for the cap size. Now 2 lands have been tapped. The map has been cracked for another tower. There's a boomerang on the tower. Now Eye of Nowhere is a sorcery so we can't play that on the turn of the opponent. Two cards have been discarded and we're waiting for the soft lock to happen. But we need six lands for that. Eye of Nowhere again bouncing the power plant. That's been played again. Now Regress bouncing the power plant. Urza Tron player is a little bit trapped another bounce spell but no sixth land consigned to dream 
discard again. Another bounce spell. So now it's really the waiting game. Can the Urzatron player get some lands in play? Either trade wins. Bouncing the plant again. Now we're going to cycle a reskin to search for land number six. And there it is. That means we now have a soft lock with cap size. Because cap size we can play. And now we can kick it back to the owner's hand. Meaning the cap size is now instead of the graveyard going to the hand of the player. And now we can play it over and over again locking the Urza player out of the game. So uh, that means discarding some cards. Playing a power plant again. We're still going to see it being capsized. Still no creatures, no pressure. But here is a temporal adept. Now we need three mana so we can't capsize and kick it on the next turn. This is a 1-1 one -one that bounces as well. So a lot of bounce. Now another mana fixing artifact has been cast. And now that's Condensant, a counterspell attack yeah. with the Adept for one damage. And of course the Capsize with buyback. Now the Tron player now has two lands. But still the soft lock is in play, it's going to be very hard to get out. Terrarion is another mana fixing artifact, but that really doesn't help the Tron player a lot. An attack from the Adept, a bounce with Kicker. So the mine has been played. The Tron player knows it's going to be hard to get out if the bouncing other player is not making a mistake and we saw an interesting card. Here is the Jace's Archivist. And this does now something really cool because you can tap it and then each player will discard his hand and both players will draw cards equal to the highest number of cards discarded. Meanwhile Sylvan's crying for the Tron player. Another tower. All the lands are there in the hand of the Tron player but he can't really do anything. Because everything has been bounced and will be bounced because of the kicked cap size. So first we're going to see a cap size bouncing other player now leaving some mana open. We'll bounce the power plant. And then we play Aether Trade Winds on the forest. No more forests in the hand. And now Jace's Archivist, nine cards discarded, nine cards are being drawn. And this for both players. So now it's a goal for the other player to find some threats. Here is Mystic Sanctuary putting back on top, of course, the cap size. Here is Chromatic Sphere. Yeah, this is not going anywhere. We're searching for an otter. Three mana, and I think we got one. Three mana, here is an otter. Berang, berang, <gasps> the Tron player can't take it anymore and scoops it up. So this was this week's match. Check out the community tab of this channel to find out where you are in the leaderboard or learn how you can join the leaderboard by clicking on this link here. But most importantly, predict who will be the winner of the next match and leave it in the comments below. And Bram will tell us now which two decks will battle it out in the next epic match. Next match, Game of Thrones styles with zombies versus soldiers. And to help you predict, you can find the links to the deck decks right here. Bye!